come back the room you got advertised. Ah. No way. Please, Becky. You want to walk the long way around? Fine, you carry on. But don't expect me to, just because you want to gawp at Justin Chapman. I'd do the same for you. Right, Claire. Hate you. Mutual. What are you gawping at, nosy swine? Leave him alone. Have you seen him with his ears flapping, Dumbo? Get lost. How's your dad? Yeah. How's it going on in Saudi? Mind your own business. Is he still working down Jam Butty Mine? Or it treacle mine? I never said he were working down mine. That's right, cos you're a liar, cos you ain't in Saudi Arabia. Well, where is he then, orbiting the moon? We know. We all know. Shut up! He's in prison. He's not. Leave him alone, you rotten cow. He's doing porridge. He's doing time. He's being detained at Her Majesty's leisure. And he thinks nobody knows. <laughs> Becky? Becky? Two empty wine bottles outside the back door, right, which I know for a fact weren't there before. And then morning after when I said to him, so did you and Mrs Jeffers have a nice evening? He goes, oh, we were only talking about work, Kelly. I thought, oh, I likely, with two bottles of vino bellino inside him. And anyway, I could tell he were lying, why were dead keen to insist they were only talking about work? So I reckon they're at it. Oh. I know, at their age. You think they'd have more dignity, wouldn't you? And she's married. Oh, playing with fire. And she's honourable. I know. It don't bear thinking about. I've just popped in to tell you that um, I've fixed up to look at that room at Don Brennan's house. Oh, great. When? Tonight, as soon as I've finished work. Oh, fab. Can I come with you? If you like. Tell you, we'll be out working every night. We'll be able to get up to all sorts. Have you seen them pearl drop earrings? Then I had on day before yesterday. Wow. They're bound to give you the job. They'll be falling over themselves to give you that job. There is no job. I've told you, it's an informal chat. That means that there's no job. What it does mean is that they might have Birmingham man the next time they've got something going. Why are they a car there? I've had them think. I can drive in if you like. I'm not due at work till 10. That'd be out. No problem. Bet they've fallen on the floor behind the wash basin. And I make her laugh. And she makes me laugh. I'm sure, she likes me. Have you asked her, Willie? Hey. Have you asked her whether or not she likes you? Have you asked her that, Willie? Of course not. Don't be daft. When would I do something like that? Well, how would I know when? I can't. Why not? Well, even before that, look, I think she's still screwed up about the pillock. To be honest, as Mo fondly refers to him, like, I think that's at the bottom of it. Have you asked her, William? You are. Have you asked her whether or not she's still screwed up about the pillock? Have you asked her? Oh, yeah, just like that. Yes, just like that. Oh, name of God, Willie. Look, she's going to tell you here now, isn't she? She'll let you know. William, look, listen to me. All you do is you say, Maureen, come here. Now, what about you and me getting, well, you know, going out together properly? You know what I mean? And she'll say yes or no, won't she? Would you do that? Well, possibly not, but that there's not the You're point. right. Where are you going? I'm going to talk to her. You don't need me till you finish that cable, do you? No, you're right. No, I don't. No. I'm saying nothing. Right, fine. I'm keeping my mouth shut. OK. Only, as I say, if you ever do want a bit of privacy with anybody, I can always make myself scarce of an evening. You've only got to say, and it doesn't matter who it is. It's right, fine, OK. Oh, hello, Bill. Morning. I was just going to put the kettle on, weren't I, Maureen? Oh, were you, Mother? <laughs> <laughs> did, did you have a nice weekend? So, so. Uh, have you got five minutes? Yeah. Good. Because I want to put a few cards on the table. Morning. Morning, Don. Go on. Van broke down, is it, Bill? Aye, as yeah, yeah. Accelerator uh, cable. Go on. Well, I just wanted to, uh, I wanted to say that I'm glad we've got over that daft little hiccup. Where do you keep the furniture up, Polish love? Have you got any? Is there none there? It's where you're looking. Uh, well, I must be blind. <laughs> Mother! Go on, then, Bill. And I was just wondering... What? Is there any furniture polish in there? Cos there's none on the shelves. I've shifted it. What? I put it with the washing powder. It's with the washing powder. Go on, Bill. I just wanted to talk to you, really. Have, have you found it? 
Am I warm here? No. With the washing powder, <laughs> I said. Well, happen it's better if I come back. Um, what are you doing lunchtime, say, in half an hour? Well, probably I'll be on my feet all lunchtime. I must need my eyes testing. To the <laughs> left. No, to the left. Well, what did you put it there for? Who's going to look there? Well, I thought it'd be more convenient. More convenient for who? For folk buying washing powder. <laughs> look, I'll come back later when you're not so busy. I'll probably have to work. Uh, in Rovers? Yeah, half eight. No, no, make it a bit after that. Dust says, have you got any? I'll eat all mine at home and muck it. Don't ask me why. I never use them. Well, they only need washing. Take a box of powder. I mean, if something happens, obviously, then the job will go on hold for a couple of months, won't it? Of course, these days, uh, you could give up your job and uh, you could look after any babies. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> There we are, my love. Oh, excuse me. Uh, pint, please, darling. Uh, oh, love, right. Samantha, sorry. Now, here's a fella with a family ready-made. What's up with that? No. Except you miss all the fun. What fun? Sleepless nights, wet nappies, sick everywhere. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> no, 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 he's done it the easy way. Really? It's no picnic, you know, taking on someone else's kid. No, of course it isn't, love. No, uh, in the RAF. The father, was he? Yeah, yeah, he was. Same as you, Billy. And will we be hearing the sound of wedding bells in the near future? Why, what's that got to do with anything? Billy! Oh, I bet we won't. You can bet your bottom dollar we won't. It's got nothing to do with us, has it? You want to move with the times, Billy. Shacking up together's been respectable for years, mate. Ah, oh, I happen I do. I never thought that's what we should have done, Betty. We should have shacked up together and then you wouldn't have lost your police pension. Mind you, when the police found out, you might have been in trouble. You probably have to pay it back and get your wrist slapped. Well, the folks don't seem to care about that these days. Claire never said anything about a pension. What, from the RAF? She's bound to have one. And it'll be a generous one, too. How much? Well, I don't know. It could be as much as five grand or more. Oh. <coughs> what, if you get married again, you lose it all? Well, if you live together as husband and wife, you do, by rights. Of course, uh, it's much easier to get rounded if you don't tie the knot. I think you've said enough. You don't know what folks' private arrangements are. No, you don't. Claire might have given it up already, mightn't she? Oh, yeah. Mind you, she's crackers if she has. Eh? Five grand? <laughs> All right. Can I sit with you? It's a free country. I thought Lauren was a right cow saying that to you this morning. I've fallen out of her anyway. Is that supposed to impress me? No. Is he in Saudi? Your dad? He might be. Do you miss him? I miss my dad. Why was your dad? He's dead. He was killed in a fire. It wasn't his fault, though. We're dead good. Yeah, you're all right. Do you want him back? He's not coming back. What if somebody said to you that he weren't right nice? I mean, you thought he was OK. But then some came up to you and said, well, actually, kid, he was really horrible and hate you, Mum. Then what? I won't believe him. Yeah, but what if they proved it? He wasn't. He didn't. Yeah, but what if he did? Someone said that about your dad. My mum went to see him the other day and ate her. In Saudi? Oh, we ain't in Saudi. Then she were off this dinner time to see a solicitor about divorcing him. One egg and chips. And that's for you. On the house. Well, no, on me, actually. I've put the money in the till. Only don't go telling your mates I'm a soft touch because it won't do them any good. I would have preferred cola. Rot your teeth. He's all right, Roy, isn't he? Yeah. I mean, I don't know whether it was worth going or not. I hadn't sorted anything out, has it? I hadn't changed anything. Yeah, but now you know the facts. Yeah. Like, I can't divorce him for unreasonable behaviour unless he agrees to it. It's marvellous, that, isn't it? I mean, fancy... fancy agreeing to a law like that. You can't divorce somebody for unreasonable behaviour unless the unreasonable pig says, oh, OK, as if they're going to blooming agree to it. Yeah, but folk can say, oh, can't they? They can make out all sorts has been going on. He hit me, Vera. 
In front of witnesses. In front of screws. I mean, you can't get better witnesses than that. I know that, I know, yeah. And I can't get him on grounds of separation because they don't count the time spent in prison. Miss Lister said I should try and persuade him to divorce me for adultery. <laughs> She's been to the solicitors. Right, Only I thought I'd pop in and let you know. Cos, um, you did say you'd pay for it, didn't you? Consultation. Said we'd give you a bit to audit, sir. I thought you said you'd pay. Said we'd help. We said we'd pay. Only I'd never have gone if you hadn't said that. I mean, I could never have afforded it. How much was it, love? 45 quid. Hang on. I'm not having folks saying that we go back on our word. There you go, love. Right, best get off. Baldwin will be on Warpath if I'm not back by two. Well, we're here if you need us. Thanks, Vera. Thanks, Jack. Look, Jack, I had to. I, I promised her. I know, I know. By the gods, we've made a rod for us own back there, haven't we? Well, poor lass, she's got no. No, that isn't true, Vera. She's got the cheek of the devil and she'd have every flaming penny we've got if we're not careful. Well, I thought you felt the same way I do. about baby. I do, and about the baby, yes, and I'd be happy to give a bit of help, but I'm damned if I am footing all the bills. Nobody said out about it. Yes, your... right, and let's just be careful about how much we promise, eh? Otherwise, it'll never end. Well, of course it's not going to end. As soon as baby's born, well, that'll just be the beginning, won't it? Aye. Just the more involved we get, the more that thug she is married to is going to take it out on us. And Vera, I'm getting too old to be worrying about getting me a kit in. Sonia, the, um, the girl that showed me around and introduced me to everybody, she said that they do have a gentle turnover of staff, but there's a lot of competition. And generally, they would be looking for somebody with a bit more experience, but uh, I got on well, so... Um, Fingers crossed. I hope all this won't affect our plans, you know, to uh, start a family. I mean, it won't, will it? Oh, what? Well, you know, you. Meeting people, making inquiries. I mean, we're still thinking about having babies, aren't we? Well, the object of meeting people and making inquiries is to get a job. Yes, yes, I know that, but we've still got our priorities, haven't we? Haven't we? Well, eventually, yeah. Possibly we could, then um, think about babies. Eventually? Possibly? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, obviously things are different now, aren't they? Are they? Well, <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, at least I know where I stand. I thought you'd have realised that, Curly. Well, I'm thick, me, you see. I keep telling people I'm thick, but they don't believe me. They say things like, you can't be thick because you're educated. Well, obviously, they're wrong. I'm thick. I'm going to get changed. I thought you'd have realised. What do you think? It smells. Doesn't. I've made a pot of tea. Will you have a cup? No, Can't thanks. Oh. Go on, then. All right. Uh, do you have a good look around up there? Yeah. Is it what you're looking for? Yeah, pretty much. Ah, uh -huh. uh, milk and sugar? I milk three sugars and Kelly's just milk. Ah, well, I dare say she's sweet enough. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, it's like I said this morning, it's 30 quid a week. Now, uh, that includes all your bills except telephone and you see to your own meals. Now, there's no particular rules. Uh, you can come and go as you please, just so long as you don't disturb me too much. And it'd be okay having guests, would it? Well, what you get up to in your own room is up to your kid. Uh, as long as it's not illegal, eh? It just meant guests. Yeah, well, whatever. I mean, I'm just saying that I've got no objections to, uh, Whatever. Well, it all sounds fair enough. I think Ashley probably wants to go away and have a think about it. Uh, keen to get away from your family, are you? That's my mum's boyfriend. Yeah. Well, you could move in tomorrow if you want. I mean, well, as far as I'm concerned, you can move in now. No, I've not told my mum yet. I need to have hand move my stuff. Or will it go in my car? Yeah. Well then. Can I get back to you?
I'm sorry about mouthing off. I, I didn't mean to. No, I'm sorry. I mean, obviously, your career's got to come first, hasn't it? I mean, obviously. Well, for a while, at least. It's just that I can't stop thinking about kids and how nice it would be. And I'd do my part, you know I would, and these days you can be back at work in weeks. Well, if you can get a child, mind you, you can, and even then it... Um... What? Well, it restricts you. But we're not getting any younger. Curly, there's plenty of time. Look, no one's got more faith in you than I have. You know that. Yeah. And for well, the competition, it's difficult, isn't it? Like the lady said, it's very difficult to get a start when you've you've no experience. So, what I've done this course for nothing, have I? No. No. Damn right, I haven't. I just don't want you to spend ages trying to get a job and then being disappointed. Because I know what will happen. I know what will happen. You'll take on some bar work just till something comes along. And that'll be it. And for all the good reasons in the world, we'll be stuck in this limbo of yours, waiting for something to happen. And we'll never start a family. I won't let that happen. Hello. It's for you. Hello. Oh, Sonia. Now then, we turn from a sport which requires a lot of physical energy to one that relies on... How much do you love me? <laughs> How do you know I do love you? Well, don't you? Sometimes. So how much? <laughs> well, how long's a piece of string? I don't know. Is it true that you've got a pension from the RAF? And if we ever thought about getting married, you'd have to give it up? My God. What? She's been round to see you. She's been getting at you. What are you on about? Carol! Well, who the hell else would tell you? Good God, she is so jealous and possessive. She's determined not to let me have a life of my own. Keep your voice down. And why? I mean, why? Does she think it's going to bring him back? It wasn't her. It was Billy Williams. I saw him in the pub at dinner time. He used to be in the RAF and, him, well, he was rattling on about shacking up together and widow's pensions, so... Oh, we'll see. So was he right? <sighs> Look, Des, this has got nothing to do with you. And I don't mean that nastily. He said you'd have to give it up just living together. I mean, 5,000 quid or more. It's a lot of money. Are you talking about me? No. Well, what are you arguing for, then? We're not arguing. Just telling each other jokes. And all that about what you get up to in your own rooms up to you? Cheeky beggar. It's what you wanted, isn't it? I know, but I don't want him talking about it. He's probably going to have his ear glued permanently to the ceiling. We won't be doing it when he'd be in Woodway. It suits me, Kelly. I like it. I'm near you. We can get away for the moment. It's not too expensive. Well, as long as it's just for the time being. I'm pleased. I'm really thrilled for you because it's something that you want. It's only on a trial basis. Large Scottish wine, please, Vera. Right, love. Yeah, but it's a start, isn't it? And you're doing something that you want to do. And that's important. And that was the only thing that was bothering me. Oi, see that? Slime ball. Wouldn't want him that close to me, would you? Oof, makes your flesh creep. Curdle your milk, he would. What's the matter with him? He's very nice, this can. Hey, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm going home. No, I thought it was a bit hard when I was invited on this teacher's course, but now I know why. She's after you. I mean, why do you bring your problem down to a colleague? Someone who really she hardly knows at all. Must have friends closer than me she can confide in. She's after you. I'm going to keep saying it because sooner or later it'll sink in. No, I'm starting to believe it. You know, I'm really not looking forward to this course. Do you think she might pounce on you? Oh, well, do you have to go? Well, I've committed myself. Ah, oh, you're just going to have to do some straight talking to her before you do go, aren't you? Either that or stay sober and keep your bedroom door locked. I like it. I've always liked it. And I thought, well, if, you know, some point in the future, that we could be more than just, you know, that's what I, you know, if you could as well, like, yeah. I'll say something. Well, I'm flattered. But you don't feel the same way. 
It's not that. It's just... What? Well, there's the shop, there's Reg, and... Uncle John Cobbley. Look, I hardly have time for myself. How on earth am I going to find time for a relationship? Well, maybe you should make more time for yourself, eh? And I still don't think I'm over Reg completely. Well, that's natural enough. I still get very angry. Yeah, and you will. For a long time. Then, of course, there's my mother. What about her? She's always there. She always has to pass comment. I always have to take notice of her opinion and her advice. <laughs> she likes me. Yes, of course she does, but that's got nothing to do with it, because that's how she wants to be involved somehow. She's old, she's lonely. Oh, isn't she? is she heckers like? She's nosy, she's a control freak. She is, you know. She thinks I can't take charge of my life, so she wants to get in there, pulling the strings, nudging things along, just every way she wants to do it. So you're going to go like that put you off having any kind of meaningful relationship ever again till Ma's pushing up the days? No, I, I don't know. Things are... Things are just a bit complicated right now. So what you're actually saying is no? No, I don't know. Oh, Bill, I'm sorry. You're such a sweet man. The last thing I ever want to do is hurt you. Friends or what? I don't know. Are you coming out? Only because there's now a teller. Off out with Lauren. We're just half an hour. It's gone nine. You've got school tomorrow. Right. I um I think I'll have a bath. I think you should tell me the truth first, because it's bothering me. If you've had to give up a good pension because of me, I think I should know. I haven't given up anything. Yet. Yeah, but you're going to. It's the rules, Des. I suppose I ought to be flattered that I'm worth so much. <laughs> Every penny. Still, what's 5,000 quid between friends, eh? Where are you going? Actually, it's 16,000. What? The pension, altogether. It's 16,000. That's including what I get from the DSS. Still... And I never thought I'd hear myself say this. I don't care. I mean that, Des. I feel... I feel alive again. Happy. That's worth more money than they could ever dream of giving me. 